my hand. And Elton is here to hold my hand this morning um, through the news review. He's looking at me like, what, what, what? What are we doing? Good, good morning, morning, Elton. Yeah, good morning. And I hope your night was good. It was good. I miss you without the suit, oh, though. Really? Like what's then the I just run into the car and bring the hey, right hey, now. It's in the car. Wow. Okay. Everything okay? I'm good. I'm doing okay. very well. I'm just, Anything new? I'm just looking forward to Christmas. Oh, you are. Down. We have what eleven more days to go. Eleven more days. And it's just nice, sweet outside. You can actually taste the air. You can. Yeah. Guess what I found yesterday. What? Tell me. Piccadilly biscuits. Oh wow, that one. Yep. That one. Yep. Yep. Abuna biscuits. I haven't seen that one yet, but I saw Piccadilly biscuits. I stopped. I bought some, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, Christmas is officially here now." Oh, um, wow. I always look out for for it um, at Christmas time. So, anything exciting happening? Well, uh, I mean, two two issues actually. We are expecting another showdown in Parliament today. Yeah. You know, the the first deputy speaker dismissed a a motion followed by the minority leader asking that the House take a decision on the motion that, re that you know, reinstated the budget. And the clerk wrote to the minority leader saying that his motion cannot be entertained. Now, the minority has written back to the speaker, the money mm. part better particulars and hoping to raise the matter on the floor today. Let's see how that affects business today. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Will never go out. It looks like it won't go out. But you said two issues. What's the second one? So the second issue is about the MPP and the issues happening within the MPP connected to each other. President Kufu had warning his appointees that if you want to succeed me, resign, go and concentrate on your campaign. Or forget about your ambition now. Help me, you know, execute my mandate. And then when the time is right, you can step out and go and campaign. And then, uh, you know, for, for, for those who want to relief their presidential ambitions. But why is it impossible to do both? Well, it, it isn't because the issue is that you may not have full concentration for the job. You are a minister of state. You are supposed to be responsible for a specific sector. Now, you also have an ambition to become president one day. So instead of working as a minister, you are out there campaigning and asking people to vote for you. For him, it doesn't work. Mm. The same thing happened in 2008. When Kufo told them, including him, President Kufuado, uh, that for those who are bidding to succeed me, it will be better for you to step away. And 17 of them resigned from the government and, you know, contested at the University of Ghana in Great Hall. Oh, that should be interesting. Should, yeah, so yeah. we'll see if there'll be so, any resignations. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, now that the party is going to Kumasi this weekend, and among the things that they'll be discussing is whether or not they should amend their constitution to say that when we are in power, we should we let a flag bearer two years before the national elections. Or oh, whether well, it should yeah, remain. So one if year. two years is accepted by the Congress of the party, that means that the party might go to Congress next year to elect a flag bearer. So you have a flag bearer and a president side by side. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I get that, but it's also two separate things yeah. in a way, isn't it? Because president is doing his job, yeah, exactly. flag bearer is campaigning. I feel like... In this season where um, the NPP is going to pick a new person, yeah. two years will actually work better for them yeah. to get people comfortable with this one person that's representing. Yeah. So, so basically, that is a proposal. You know, the current structure is that the party, when in power, should have a flag bearer a year before the election. If the party is in opposition, it should be two years before the national elections. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, so the proposed amendment is that let's bring it to two years and then also... Let's allow every card bearing member of the MPP to take part in the Congress. We let the party's flag bearer or the national executives. That should be interesting. That some people feel that it will be opening the floodgate for anybody at all to vote. And if we also want to induce candidates to vote for them, that will be a Herculean task. How can you pay over 6 million people to vote for to you? To vote for you, yeah. So it's keeping it. It should be interesting. And mm. um, we look forward to seeing what will happen this yeah. weekend. Okay. Should we get into the newspaper? Of course. So the statement actually captures it on the front. We let your conduct inspire hope. And also, uh, COVID-19 EIB support Ghana with 82.5 million euros. Compromise makes sense as Antigone urges parliament not to frustrate the executive. Open it fast, another motion to oust uh, Joseph Honeyega. I, don't, I, I do not know when this back and forth between uh, Dr. Puni and Joseph Honeyega will go away. But we can start with the Asante game. Over the weekend, he launched the Asante game coin, which means that you can buy cupids. Uh, the value will go up. The Bank of Ghana has given the all clear for the, uh, the coin to be used. Okay. So the Asante was to two, the second sales. Whilst Ghanaians have been brought up on the notion that democracy simply means 
the minority have their say, but the majority will have their way. The nation needs to appreciate the fact that, in the end, in the cold world of real politics, it cannot be without caveat. As national and international problems become more complex, nations are finding that the smart and prudent way is to seek the convergence of different points of view. Thus, across many jurisdictions today, one has come to symbolize the lifeblood and the soul of democracy. It is called compromise. The status at the launch of the Osetu II commemorative gold crown on Sunday at the Manchester Palace. Whether you are navigating to the lay brief of international diplomacy or comforting the intractable issue of domestic politics from the United States to Germany, from Israel to Japan, to all the land proclaiming their faith in democracy, the name of the game is compromise. And he had an advice for government that government should listen to the opposition. And the opposition must also use their numbers to frustrate the government from doing its work. I think it's, uh, it's a good Reasonable, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then MPP to aspirants, let your conduct inspire hope. The MPP has called on those seeking various leadership positions in the party to focus on the collective will of the party, on the need of the people and the success of the Kufuado administration amid efforts to restore the country to its pre-COVID-19 glory. Addressing the media yesterday, the communication director of the party, Abu Abina Samwa, said the priority of the MPP is to demonstrate the readiness to mobilize the people around the path to self-sustaining economic and social growth through mechanisms that the people accept can work effectively. The party and the government are challenged by a society eager for solutions that will help break the perennial cycle of need impaired them our common program. There is a pressing need for some infrastructure. And he says that the MPP government is offering direction for the country to recover from COVID-19. And again, on this matter, Opuni files another motion to oust uh, Jesse Honoyega. Dr. Stephen Opuni, SCEO of Cocoa Board, has once again filed a motion asking Justice Clemens Honoyega to recuse himself from hearing the $217 million a financial loss case for allegedly exhibiting bias tendencies and open hostility towards him. Dr. Opuni, who is standing trial together with businessman Sidi Wagungo and facing 27 charges, claimed Justice Wanyuega has been given the Attorney General preferential treatment in the case. He filed the affidavit in support of the motion last Friday. It becomes the third of such motion he has filed since the trial began. Dr. Opuni said, based on the advertisement contained in the above, it is only fair and just that the trial judge recuses himself from further hearing of this case. And this matter has, you know, received the attention of the Supreme Court. There's been a judgment on this matter. First, uh, a panel ruled that Honoyega should not continue to sit on the case. And then the Attorney General filed uh, an appeal before the Supreme Court. And the, another panel overturned that decision. But this will be the third time uh, Dr. Opone will be seeking the court to do what he considers to be right. And then, so on the statement, uh, newspaper telecos commit to March deadline for SIM card registration. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh exactly. my God. Mm. Oh my God, oh my God. I still don't have my Ghana card. You still don't have your Ghana card. I'm nope. sure you have it before the deadline. I better. Yes, because I, don't <laughs> I can no longer call you. You can, yeah, yeah. Have you registered your SIM? I have not, but I have a Ghana card. I hope to do so soon. Soon, yeah. I hope to do so soon. It'll be I interesting did, to I see. Did, in fact, this whole thing, this will be the third time actually registering my SIM. And sometimes it it's gets frustrating. frustrating. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. know how come they can't do things right for once. I don't know. Yeah. So somebody went to court to stop the process. The court didn't give him the hearing that he wanted. So the mat. Because actually, we all registered our SIMs. We all did. In fact, I'm saying that this will be the third time. <laughs> I I'm just actually remembering. SIM. And then I hope this will be the, 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 the final time because it doesn't make sense for public officials to be taking us through this cycle of comedy of errors every time. It, it, it just doesn't. If we had a system that worked, the, all the registered SIMs would be in the system, all the Ghana card people would be in the system, and then whoosh, whoosh. Of course. Yeah. And then whoosh. Yeah. And then you know. You have said that the Ghana card perhaps represent the most genuine uh, form of, yeah. Form of so you just do that so technologically. You just, take, you just say the data and yeah. put it together. And then you can issue a statement that those who, have, who don't have a Ghana card mm. will then lose their SIMs because that information is not there. Absolutely. So that all we're doing is actually Absolutely. just doing the Ghana Absolutely. card. But then we have to go over this thing again, the frustration, the, you don't even have a Ghana card. 
uh, I don't I, I don't think they've even covered half of the country. And yet mm -hmm. this is going to be the only means through which you can get your SIM registered. And then perhaps good news for the country is that Ghana is the eighth biggest economy in Africa, according to the World Bank latest report. Yeah, good news. It doesn't really, like, we don't really care if it, it doesn't translate it into money. In <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can be the second biggest, the first biggest, whatever. Mm. At the end of the day, Charlie, even plantain and beans is more expensive now yeah, than it was last yeah, year. Yeah. So... I don't know. I'm sure to the economist it must mean a lot. But of course. To the average Ghanaian, honestly. Does it help you get visas if you're traveling somewhere? I doubt. Yeah. So, it uh, doesn't. In fact, it doesn't even <laughs> come in the question. It, it well, doesn't there even come in the question. So. so Ghana's economy has been continuously rising for the past 15 years, powered by oil and production, which is now a key component of the economy, with a GDP of $72.4 billion. Dollars. That's how I come. And yet we're still in debt, still in so much debt. Now taxing e, um, our e transactions. Well, there's, you don't really see any benefits. I know the, 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 the sad part of this. What's this? And this is not only. That's a sadder part. part. Indeed, in our economy, that there, there is what seventy-two point four billion dollars. California, which is a state in the United States, we are not even ten percent of the the the, 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 the the wealth of California. Alone. Wow. Not even ten percent. Yeah, no, we're not. Not at all. Mm. That's very sad. Yeah, so other stories, FDA to sanction food vendors over safety standards, College of Education Lecture Threaten Strike. Today, uh, that's CETA, over conditions of service that are yet to be approved by government. Back page, Sergio Aguero, Barcelona former Man City striker, is set to announce his retirement to the football. He had, had issues on the, on the page, he was taken to the hospital. The doctors have said that he can no longer play football. So at 8.33, he'll be Aww. saying goodbye tomorrow. That's your statement. That's very sad. Very, very sad. That's I mean, very sad. Uh, I mean, at Barcelona, he's earning £280,000, uh, and now he can no longer be taking that money every week. I'm, sure, I, I'm hoping he's saved enough and of made some good investments. Than money. Yeah, then he should be okay. All right, let's do the Daily Guide. Resigned to campaign, Nana to flag bearers, cause those are Canada MP. Don't frustrate government or 240 MPs. And European Bank gives government 82.5 million euros for COVID-19. Okay, let's do some international stories. President Biden declares disaster in Kentucky after deadly tornadoes. Oh gosh, this is, there's a picture of it. It looks quite Yeah, I was horrific. looking on CNN over the weekend. It, yeah. Uh, it was quite bad. Some people were trapped in there. They were making... In their houses, yeah. yeah. Okay. President Ramaphosa test positive for COVID. Yesterday we weren't sure. Yeah. Um, but yes, um, South Africans President Cyril Ramaphosa has tested positive for coronavirus amid the growing prevalence of the Omicron variant in the country. Um, they're not sure if, if it's the Omicron variant, but anyways. Two cargo ships collide in the Baltic Sea. Seven dead as rescuers find bodies in Sicily blast. Um, so there's a gas, a suspected gas explosion um, that blasted a building. So. Okay, Opuni chases judge again. European Bank gives government 82.5 million euro for COVID-19. Um, so President Akufado has welcomed the 82.5 million euro support offered to Ghana by the EIB mm -hmm. to strengthen health care, provision of specialist medical equipment and medicines across Ghana under the national COVID-19 health response. Plan. Okay, interesting. Malaria control begins mosquito nest distribution in a crowd. Jealous man shoots wife and brother in law. So, a 36 year old man who reportedly could not stand the pain of being divorced has shot his wife and his brother in law, injuring them in the process. So, the suspect, according to the police, has been threatening to divorce his wife, insisting that God has ordered him to leave her. These threats, therefore, compelled the wife to move from her home to live in her shop. And then on December 4th, the wife, accompanied by her brother, visited um, the husband's house to pick up her clothes and stuff. And the husband, who couldn't bear the pain of being separated, after saying God has said he should divorce her, um, reportedly used his landlord's long gun to shoot Salome and Owusu, causing injuries to both of them. What kind of emotional inconsistency? I don't, I like it. <laughs> emotional. <laughs> what kind of emotional inconsistency? Emotional inconsistency. In one breath, you want to divorce, 
in the the other one to you, you say you, you, you can't stand I mean, what kind of emotional inconsistency i like that um samira leads bantama youth choir to the world nigeria bans smoking in nollywood oh that's interesting mm. so very soon in in um, nollywood movies they won't be able to have scenes where they're smoking. Abe Kusego backs minor voting in Ghana's film Name Change. We're going to be having a conversation about that. Whether, whether we should maintain uh, Gollywood or Black Star. Or Black Star, yeah. So that should be interesting. Um, let's do some more entertainment stories. Um, there's a feature here when the IGP is proactive, if you're interested. Ambele, Pat Somers, others rock the Plus 233 jazz bar oh that's happening this saturday right. ambele and friends ew that that should be interesting it will be yeah okay um transparency unity and accountability key to reviving music and davido's orphanage fund receives 1234 applications so that's interesting back page aguero quits football tomorrow sebastian barnes get young apostles post a sense of bachi under 14 ball par tourney rocks kumasi and um, chelsea take on lille lille and psg face real and champions league last 16. and um, before you move on to the, the mm. daily dispatch i wanted to ask you a question so later on today we have um reverend um victor kusi watting joining us a member secretary from for Cali yeah from the national cathedral the national cathedral i am i was just wondering if you have any questions you know for him sometimes it feels like having these discussions when the decision <laughs> has already been made yeah. You know, it's kind of, but but uh, do you have do you have any concerns? But you for or against though? The the National Cathedral. Are you on the fence? No, no, I'm 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 I'm, I'm all for it. You are purely from religious grounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like a sinner when when people say. I'm all for. In fact, I I contributed almost two hundred Ghana cities when the short code was launched. Wow! Yeah. It, oh, Elton. It's purely on religious grounds. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. So what, what's, what's the religious ground? Like, how do you feel about it? Well, I, 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 I just want to see a connection between the country and our faith. There is a mox for the Muslims, even though some may say that it was not built by the nation. But the nation provided some support. We pride ourselves of being, in terms of percentage-wise, as far as our population is concerned, we have more Christians in the country. Having one place where it connects all Christian faiths, I will support it 100% mm. any day. I see. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. But I want to find out how much money they've raised. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, because that aspect of it has not been made so clear. So clear, yeah. I mean, they've been, they've been on a fundraising activity for so long. If at, one, at, at one point, I went with them to the United States with the president where the president spoke at the U.S. president breakfast meeting. And he got a lot of these American businessmen to follow us to the launch the night, the, the evening after the breakfast meeting. The, the, the chairs were all sold out. Wow. Yeah, and these are rich men. They contributed to the National Cathedral. As of now, I am unable to point to a figure, figure to say that yeah. this is how much we've raised, this is how much is outstanding, this is how much we've spent in terms of bringing up the building. They, I think they need to be more transparent in the way they are raising money and they are spending it. Okay. Well, Reverend um, Victor Kusi Boateng joins us this morning. So he'll give us a chance to find, of course. To find that out. And um, if you have any questions as well, why don't you send them in um, through our social media, Facebook. What do you want to know about the National Cathedral? Let's have that conversation a little later on. Okay. The Daily Dispatch. So the Dispatch also on the, on the back page, it's actually on the front page as well. Percentage of accounts and errors decrease nationwide between 2010 and 2022. Uh, an analysis of some main ethnic groups in the 2010 and 2021 population census uh, figures revealed that the percentage of Akan and Ewe ethnic groups decreased between 2010 and 2021. In 2010, the broad Akan ethnic group was 47.5% of Ghana's population. The figure reduced by 1.8% to 2021 figure of 45.7%. The Ewe group was 128 in 2021. 1.1 percent decrease from 2010 population census so if you take the dispatch and you have the table but they've been serializing the report of the national population council uh, you will get to see the ethnic group and per the figures and per the table the akan ethnic group is still the largest in the country with 45.7 percent followed by airways 
Gandangwe, Mole Dagbani, Guan, Guama, and Monday follows in that order. Uh, MPs can scrutinize a budget, but can determine or frustrate government. That's according to the something we've already had that. And beginning today, if you are flying into the country, you must show proof of full vaccination. That directive takes effect from today. From today. Yeah, the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Kumar Bwaji, has said that his outfit is committed to ensuring COVID-19 cases are reduced significantly with the new vaccine mandate for international travelers. According to him, about 75% of people who are tested at the Kotoka International Airport are unvaccinated, and that is putting the country at risk. Speaking on the probe on Sunday on Joy News, he said it is essential to put in place measures to reduce the importance and the importation of COVID-19 cases to protect the people in the country. So the directive is taking effect today. If you have plans of coming together to spend Christmas with your family, you must make sure that you are fully vaccinated and then you also have to take a PCR test at the airport, at the airport. before you are admitted. Now, if you don't, chances are that the airline that will bring you will have to pay $3,500. Fine. For each passenger yeah. that may be on board that flight. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's I don't a lot. They want to invite how much are you? $3,500 is not paying for a business class ticket. Well, yeah, so, um, yeah, um, mm. to be a waste of resources. Yeah. Okay, let me quickly run to the finder um, before we go on myjoyonline.com. Okay, so 241 million CDs is to facilitate GRA's collection of e-levy. Um, that's the finance ministry. That, that question, of course, has come up, you know, about why, why they needed so much. At first, we weren't, weren't actually sure that it was going to the GRA. Yeah. Um, and then now we know it's to facilitate GRA's collection. I mean, but you already have the systems in but, place. But uh, how so, does that facilitate? The GRA in a collection of uh, that is going to give them money to set up some. Well, according to who Black, the money is out of the table now, so it looks like whoever was going to play the middle role between GRA and the service provider will no longer end this almost 300 million million Ghana, Ghana cities. Ah, anyway, as someone bought, I'll mobilize MPP for sure. Win okay. Um, court dismisses two applications of the embattled Asin North MP. MPs can't dictate policies to executive, but governments must also incorporate useful inputs. Um, tip a truck driver find 960 CDs for killing an 11 year old boy. Hmm. Just 960 Just CDs. 900, yeah, just 960 CDs. Um, it's, just, it's just weird how some of these things. Um, yeah, okay, it says it's on page two, but it's actually not on page two. So <laughs> anyway, let me see if there's um, some other stuff in here. Um, GEA inspires corporate women to excel and build um, competence. Okay, interesting. Um, Samson's take, International Anti-Corruption Day, Integrity. And that's our very own Samson Ladi. On that, and um, that's right about MPs not dictating center spread. Um, your story, ECG restores electricity yeah, to Manyakobo. Yeah, also. And today they are saying that they are going to house to house to reach their meters. I hope that does not bring another round of confusion between ECG. So much drama. Yeah. So much drama. So much drama. Let's get to myjoyonline.com. Let's try and do that quickly before we have to go um, for the sports. Myjoyonline.com. Okay, um, Economic Fighters League quits, fix the country. Oh! Yeah, they are blaming the organizers or the, the, <laughs> the organizers of the fix the country demo of being, of, of, of being influenced by some politicians, virtually breaking their front. Yeah, so. Anyway, we want to see the evidence. That is yeah, oh, that's, that's a little yeah. disappointing. Um, anyway, like you said, we want to see the the evidence um kenophoriata there's a story okay took over four years to pay back a five million cd loan that's kofi amwa being focus on your job or quit and pursue your presidential ambition akufado to aspires national cathedral the whole structure will be in place by december 2022 um, the secretary. So that's so. Um, so yes. Akapo interviewed yeah. um, Reverend Kusi Watin yesterday. Um, so I guess these are some of the highlights. I mean, if you missed that, we'll interview him today. 2022, so. that's just a year Next away. Year, yeah. And if you do have a run where with the sides, what you see is just a big dug out. Yeah. Trying to build the foundation. I mean, but you know how it is. Chale, money day, are you for free build house in one week? Stop. 
Yeah, if for pass by East Legon, you see Bear Land Saturday. Yeah. By Friday, there's a full structure, actually. So, you know, as long as there's money, mm. hey, I mean, time doesn't really matter. Ketasco's Francisca Lamini um, secures another straight A, scores another straight A in Wasi after NSMQ showed. Oh, congratulations to her. Um, eight A's, that's fantastic, isn't fantastic. it? Absolutely. Yeah, she has a bright future. Here, Absolutely yeah. fantastic, yeah. Court dismisses Asin North MP's application over referral to Supreme Court for interpretation. And finally, your refusal to admit um, motion smacks of abuse of discretionary power. Haruna Idrisu to first deputy speaker. I do love how he speaks, Haruna Idrisu. I interviewed him once. Mm. It was very interesting. And he has a lot of proverbs. And, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. I don't know those from the Northern Proverbs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other thing I really mm. enjoyed about it is that no matter what question I asked him, he had his own questions and answers. Yeah. So. He will, yeah, he will, he will, he will answer the question. And, and answer, and yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you don't really have to of stress. Course, like, yeah. You just welcome him to the studio and be like, all right, take it away. Absolutely. Um, good morning to you. Um, honorable if you're watching us. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, um, Muftal is here with the sports. And after that, we will get into our conversation. We're talking parliament and everything that's happening. We'll also be having that National Cathedral conversation later on. And of course, the renaming of Ghana's film industry to Black Stars. We'll have um, some opinions on that. And of course, always interested in yours. Um, you can find us on social media. Head over there. Love to hear your comments. My name is Enimwas. Thank you to Elton You're welcome, for joining and you us. You have a great day. Thank you and, so much. Uh, I'm going over to the other side of yes. the road to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, guys, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.